Temple family. This is Reki Kajara, the High Priestess of the Raseki Arts Temple. And today I'm going to answer a question that I am asked often about my beads. And these are actually spiritual beads. I don't just wear them because they're pretty, but I wear them because I am an initiated priestess in a couple of different systems. And the beads that I'm wearing helps to represent the energy that I am connected to through the initiation. So when you see people wearing these, what we call a leg case, then you know that they have been through some type of ritual or ceremony to earn the beads because you don't just buy them and wear them. They don't necessarily work like that. You want to get them as a gift from a priest who blesses them for you so that they will be active, they will have a shape. And when you wear them, they help to protect you, they help to give and add energy to your own ashe, which is spiritual power. So I just wanted to help people to understand, and I have several different other beads to wear because I'm also a comedic priestess as well as a Yoruba priestess. So I use all of that energy when I'm out and I'm representing the Orisha, I'm representing Sekhmet and the other energies that I work with. And it's the same for anyone who is wearing a bunch of beads like that. They are usually wearing them because they it's, it's part of our ritual, part of our practice, part of our um, protection and force field. It's a part of our everyday wear to um, have that energy with us. And, and as I said, it helps to enhance our own ashe. It helps to represent the ancestors or whatever it is. So, um, and there are, you know, the priests and priestesses have made sacrifices and have usually taken a year or more of training in order to earn the beads. And we call it being married to the Orisha or to the deities that we are initiated to. So we have a close connection with them. So you also want to understand that when you see it in dealing with people who wear the beads, keep that in mind. There are people who have been through a process to connect them to higher forces. So that is something you want to understand so that you know how to carry on and work with these people in a proper way because that is important. You don't want to be disrespectful or harmful to someone who is a priest or priestess because it's going to come back to you basically and not that they have to do anything to make it come back. It's just because of the connection and because of their ashe really. So <clears throat> prayerfully this information has been helpful to you all and again visit us online for books, for classes, retreats. We always have a lot going on. So make sure to go to RosekiHealing.com and RosekiStore.com. Thank y'all so much. Until the next time, until